Hello everybody, in this basic Keyshot video tutorial, I would like to talk about the application of logos on a surface. Okay, let's start. Basically, to apply a logo onto a surface, there are two main ways, namely through textures and labels. Let's explore the method using textures first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to do a right mouse click, go to edit material, tap onto the texture section. And I want to add a diffuse map, okay, as the logo. So I can click on this. And the image that I want to use is this transparent PNG. So for this image, uh, these surrounding areas will be transparent. Only this area will be visible. So click open. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is to ascertain the mapping type. So clicking on the drop down menu, I ascertain that maybe planner will be a good fit for our situation. So I'm going to use the planner. And now I would like to refit this image to be over here. So I click a move texture. Let's turn on the performance mode for faster manipulation. Okay, something like that. Okay, you notice that the logo has been repeated many times. So what we can do to prevent this is to disable the repeat horizontal as well as the repeat uh, vertical. Okay, so we only got this. Okay. Okay, to blend the logo better with the main body, what we can do is also enable the blend with color okay however you can see that it's like almost uh, disappearing into the, the the main object so what you can do is uh increase the brightness okay maybe we'll set it to uh 15 okay yeah you can see now that the logo is uh quite nicely blended onto the the main surface okay Let's uh, turn off this for a moment and explore the method using labels. Okay, so I'm going to click on labels and do a demonstration of adding a logo using the labels method and then later uh, discuss uh, what are the differences between labels and textures with regards to the creation of logos. Okay, so uh, at labels, you can click on the plus sign to add a label. And we want to use the same image map, okay? This one. Okay, maybe something like that okay and also i think it's an opportunity to demonstrate the bump map 
okay so i'm going to click on this and add a normal map as a bump image okay and you can see now that the image has a depth difference due to the application of the bump okay so that the the surrounding edge uh, has a depth difference with regards to the overall look logo okay <clears throat> so um what's um the advantage of using labels as opposed to textures is that you can actually apply a label with a material that's different from the main body okay for example over here the the main body has a plastic material and our labels here is are currently set to plastic so we can actually come here and decide on a different type of material let's say i want to use metal and now you can see that yeah our label has a, a new uh, metallic material applied to it okay and let's give a little bit of roughness yep okay yeah so you can see that uh, uh, this is one of the difference of um, application of label as opposed to using a textures okay and the other main difference is that if you use a label method you can have uh, more than one uh, la label be applied if you click on this you can have like multiple uh, labels being added onto the the material okay I think with that I come to the end of this um, demonstration hope that has been useful to you see you around bye